And today we're going to make a holiday ham glazed with dried fruit, rum, and citrus. This is an excellent ham. I've been serving it for the holidays for the last several years. For our glaze, um, we're using some dried apricots. I have some dried cherries, a couple of um, cinnamon sticks, plenty of cranberries, and some dried golden raisins. What we're gonna do now is something pretty cool. We're just going to add a little rum. We're gonna let that come to a simmer and it's going to ignite. The fruit is going to absorb all of the liquid in the rum and most of the alcohol is going to burn off. Once the flame has died down, you want to add a quarter cup of ginger kombucha. And on top of that, we are using the Market of Choice fresh squeezed orange juice. I have one tablespoon of brown sugar. This isn't any ordinary brown sugar though. This is from Wholesome, or it's organic. The flavor, the molasses flavor in it is deeper than any other brown sugar that I've come across. So I use it now in all of my baking. The last addition to this, I love to use apricot preserves. That's going to just coat all of the fruit and all of our citrus and just make it just stick beautifully jewel-like to the surface of the ham. So I've chosen a couple of blood oranges, a navel orange, and a couple of satsumas. For this dish, what we're doing is going to slice these to some gorgeous kind of thin wheels, and those are going to get layered over the top of the ham. So I always give a ham a few slices, about a quarter inch deep, and that gives the ham a chance to accept all the glaze for it to penetrate the meat, but it also gives uh, all of our fruits, something to kind of hang on to so it doesn't slip off the side. All right, that's it. We will cover it with parchment paper and foil and let it cook for about two hours for an eight pound ham at 325 degrees. Our ham has been cooking for a couple of hours. It smells amazing. It's time to pull it out of the oven. As you can see, a lot of the fruit has fallen off of the top. That is perfectly fine. What we're going to do now is start basting and placing the fruit where we want it. Turn the oven temperature up to 375, and that's going to set the glaze. So we'll start basting about every five minutes until we have it to the perfect color and temperature that we want. All right, we're going to remove all of the fruit out of this and put it around our ham, and then reduce that juice into a syrup, and that will go right over the top. And that is all that rummy goodness from earlier. The orange juice, the kombucha, everything just reduced down, concentrated together. And that's it. That is our beautiful glistening holiday ham coated with rum-soaked fruit and citrus. It's fantastic.